H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. You can write a for loop or you can write a, um, yeah, I got an answer from Sandhya. So for each, uh, where E in employees, I can write like this console dot write line e dot emp name and I can write console dot read line so so I can execute this so what I am written here I wrote a for each loop where e in employees and then I wrote console dot write line e dot employee name so if you run this you can see that I will be seeing three employees Meghnath Bharat and Ravi so this is using for each loop so can anyone tell me how to do it using for loop not with for each loop how to do with for loop yeah anyone wants to tell that please tell me I'll unmute you anyone wants to go ahead with with a for loop instead of for each loop so basically uh, how many times I need to loop through the for loop how many times I need to loop through uh, for loop here three times three times yeah you're right so so how do I know uh, there are three uh, employees so basically what I need to do here is I need to write for int int i is equal to zero i less than i less than um, what mm -hmm. I need i less than uh, mm -hmm. we should not write 3 here because this should work even if I add another employee say for example I'll write like this new employee if I do 3 uh, this will fail so new employee I'll put here EMP name is equal to Sharat and then comma EMP age is equal to 32 so what I need to do here for I int i equal to zero i less than employees dot count and i plus plus. So so now what I can do here I can write here console dot write line and employees of you can access this index i dot emp name. So this is how you can actually do using this is how you can actually do using a for loop so what we are doing here for i is equal to 0 i less than employees dot count so what will be the value of employees dot count employees dot count will be 4 because you have 4 employees but the index index of RAR collection the index starts from 0 so that is the reason why we gave for int i is equal to 0 to i less than employees dot count i plus plus so so that's how we we are getting this here okay now if you want to add uh, from the database we, ha we have to see I'll, I'll tell how to add this from database we, we are yet to discuss one topic here we uh, we are going to discuss on data reader data reader topic is still pending so when I am telling data reader I'll tell how to add the how to add these values from database okay so now so we have few topics few more topics pending around uh, we can complete it in three hours maybe maximum so we'll see how it goes now okay now uh, we will discuss on is it clear now how to write using for each loop and for loop all of you is it clear for loop and for each loop yeah now now we will try to do using lambda expression So lambda expression is also very clear, very easy. So what I need to do is employees dot employees dot employees is the for each 
if goes to console dot write line f dot mp name that's all whatever you wrote this in whatever you wrote it in uh, two lines two lines here you wrote it in a single line here so employees and every employee so we wrote here for each for each f is like a single element there single employee in employees so for every employee for each employee or you can put here emp if you have confusion here putting f you can put here emp so for each employee we are just putting console dot right line employee dot emp name so so if i if i run this so let me put here console dot right line using for each loop okay and here i'll put it uh, i'll give some console dot right line i'll give some slash and slash and slash and so let me give some lines of gap so after this i'll copy this i'll put here so this is using what this is using for loop console dot right line i'm writing here using for loop okay this is important so you should know all the all the different ways of writing it so and then what we tried console dot right line using lambda expression okay and now we will try using link queue so here i'm going to write console dot right line slash and slash and slash and now we will see about using so now link queue is nothing but you normally write a query how do you write it link queue stands for language integrated query so you normally write a query how you write it in um, in sql server so anyway before that let's run this and see whether we are getting the same output in all the three cases so let me run this so here I got Ravi and Sharath so where did I got Ravi and Sharath so any guesses why in uh, in the first for each loop I got only uh, is it using for each loop yeah yeah so using for each loop I got only uh, what could be the reason using using for each loop using for loop okay let me run this so using for where is this using for each loop okay actually it came actually but uh, it went down like this it was like this so it scrolled down a little bit so basically that there is nothing wrong in the code so if I run this see here I'm just running this code and it went down so let me pull this down let me pull up so now you can see using for each loop I'm getting Meghnath, Bharat, Ravi and Sharath using for loop I'm getting the same using lambda also I'm getting the same so now let's try to understand how we can do it using link queue so as I already told uh, when you are whenever you're writing a link queue uh, just one thing you have to recollect is you need to write here from where select so don't think like how do you write an SQL server so let me comment this SQL server you write like select star from where like that you write so in SQL server traditionally how do you write select star from employee where EMP ID equal to 1 like this you write so first you're writing select and then you're writing from you're writing where but here in link you first you have to write from then you have to write where then you have to write select so let's try to do it so uh, what I need now is so let me add some filters instead of just printing so now 
let's let's try to work on different thing using for each loop if I ask you to print the names of employees whose age is greater than 30 I mean whose age is less than 30 how to modify this let's not print uh, exact collection so we will add some filters so I want to print employees whose age is less than 30 so what I'll do here using for each loop I'll write here if e dot emp age age less than 30 okay so if it is less than 30 then only I'm printing here the same condition will apply here if e dot if if employee of i dot emp age less than 30 so I'm adding this condition now similarly in lambda expression what I need to do here dot where emp goes to emp dot age less than 30 dot to list okay so this is how you need to write in first what we are doing we are writing a where condition where employee dot employee age less than 30 so what we are doing we are converting this to a list so this em up to here so now up to here this will have the employees whose age is less than 30 now what I'm doing from this list for each I'm doing I'm printing that employee again employee name so this is how you do it in using lambda expression so since we need to do where condition we had to write where employee goes to employee dot age less than 30 so first we filtered and then we are and then we are printing each line okay we filtered first using where condition and then convert it to to list and then for each this we are printing so let me run this and see whether we get uh, we only should get now Bharat and Ravi only these two are having age less than 30 so let me run this so for each loop for loop and lambda expression we are getting all the cases Bharat and Ravi so now let's try to do it using link queue so now as I already, already said you have to use from where select so where result equal to from emp in I'll tell you what is emp from emp in in what in employees in employees from where what is the condition emp dot emp age greater than or uh, emp age less than 30 and then select emp so from select emp so this is how you have to write a link queue simple link query so here here we are using EMP like this and here you have to use EMP like this so you have to select in employees from this employees you have to select an employee how that employee should be that employee should be age should be less than 30 so you are giving this condition so you have to select employees whose age is less than 30 and you have to select that employee so this will give you this this result will have the list of employees whose age is less than 30 now now you have to print that so for printing again you have to write for for each where e in result and you can write here console dot write line e dot emp name that's all so so this is how you have to write a link queue query from emp is a variable similar to this in employees in this employees this employees is having all the employees you have to take only those employees whose age is less than 30 and you have to select that employees so this result will have only those employees whose age is less than 30 and we are printing this using for each loop so this is how you write a link queue query from from where select don't get confused don't write uh, select star from from where select is the general syntax which you have to do when you're writing your link queries so let me run this so let me add a comment here using link queue so let me run this code 
So I'm getting the same result uh, using Linku as well, Bharat and Ravi. So like this, you can actually do uh, you can do different uh, different things. So even you can do order by. So so select employee order select employee this one order by emp dot emp age. So when I do order by employee age, which name should come first? So here, uh, uh, order by employee age. So first, Ravi should come. Then Bharat should come because I'm using order by. So like this, you can do different operations uh, when whenever you're writing whenever you're writing link queue. So you can do order by, um, or you can even do filter where you can write even index. So now, let me run this. So so let me run this now, and see the result. Let me run the code. So ideally, all other results, all these results will get uh, will get Bharat and Ravi. But whereas since we have used here order by emp dot employee age, let's see whether we get um, first Ravi and Bharat. So let me run this. See enough, we have uh, all are getting like Bharat Ravi, Bharat Ravi. But using Linku, since we have used order by, we are getting Ravi and Bharat. Okay. So now. Yeah. So anything else? Uh, nesting and all we are not going to discuss now. Uh, though that will be complex. Okay. So for now you understood the syntax for link queue. So what I suggest you guys is just uh, practice all the four ways of doing. So today what you can do is you can practice on writing a simple uh, writing a simple list of employees and then try to get uh, try to write a link query and lambda expression and try to see whether you are getting uh, try to do different ways so here for example if I get a question saying like I want to print the names of employees uh, whose name starts with uh, say for example M so what I can do here I can write inside this from employee where EMP dot EMP name dot index of index of I can write like this M um, m greater than or equal to 0 greater m is equal to 0 so if i write like this so if i write like this now i will see the employees whose name starts with m so index of m 0 means that means the first character is m so i will only see meghna in this case because for only meghna this index of m is 0 so let me run this and see the result for link queue. So like this you can actually do whatever filters you want you can do using link queue. So let me run this. See I'm getting only Meghnath. Okay. So basically the the point which I repeated I am repeating again, you should know you should put from where select. You should not put uh, select star from select from where. Okay. So so normally if someone comes for interview, whenever I ask any question they write here select EMP in employees and then you'll put they will put last from employees so that is wrong so you have to write like this remember the syntax okay so any questions here so where do we use link see uh, if you are comfortable using a for each loop you do it if you are not comfortable using so normally uh, nowadays people are starting uh, started using link queue so link queue is used along with entity framework so we have something called entity framework where you can create objects based on your database. So there, uh, there also we use link queue. Okay. So, any other questions? Advantages is something like. Uh, you will see the same uh, same type of link you even when you're doing when you're writing in VB or any other language. So the good thing is, um, say for example in SQL Server you write some queries. So for if you are very good in SQL Server, similar thing even we write here from employees where so you don't need to write for each loops complex for each loops. You don't need to write. Uh, how do you write order by if you don't have order by? How can you do it using for loop? If I ask you to do it using for loop, for each loop, how do you do it? It's very difficult. You have to write some custom code to order based on price. But here, if you see, it's very simple. Just to use order by. So th there are a lot of advantages. The code becomes simple. 
you will see it only in single line so even lambda expression see here the total logic complex uh, total is in only single line okay so just try to practice few basic link queue uh, link, link things uh, whichever is comfortable you can use so if you are comfortable using lambda expression use lambda expression but this is what uh, they have introduced uh, link queue language integrated query the primary reason why they introduced uh, language integrated query is uh, let me tell you previously uh, whenever we are uh, uh, w let me open ms uh, notepad so how do we write the command so uh, for example you want to save the details into database we used to write like this cmd is equal to and uh, cmd dot command text is equal to we used to write select star from employee so this is your table employee employee and all you're writing like this now you don't need to write uh, like this select star from employee so what you can do is using link you irrespective of even this syntax might change imagine you're using say for example your application server and your database is say for example your database is in Oracle okay now when you write your code in Oracle syntax as I told you already Oracle and SQL server or any other DB syntax will vary slightly so this one imagine this is only for Oracle now when in future you decided to change your uh, database to SQL server so you have to search for this code and you have to change the syntax all the places but whenever you are doing uh, using link queue you don't write any code specific to Oracle or specific to SQL server okay you write uh, you write here generic code like this you write it will be it will be based on objects okay so anyway I think you didn't get this so anyway I'll, I'll give again a quick intro on this uh, just five to ten minutes I'll summarize again in the next class okay so any other questions yeah so even you can actually uh, if you want to practice more on uh, uh, link you uh, there is Microsoft has provided something called 101 101 link samples so you can download them and you can practice okay so just uh, search for 101 link samples and you can practice on this okay so so I strongly recommend all of you to download this and practice these examples so whenever you find time please practice this okay so anything else any other questions you have so today we uh, just to summarize we learned about introduction uh, concepts and all we learned about lambda link you and we learned about how to do it using for loop and for each loop for a collection and we learned that the syntax for link you is from where and select So is it clear all of you whatever we discussed today is it clear how about others how about uh, I got only one response 